Good afternoon, almost good evening, running a bit late today. I had a video interview earlier tonight, which I'll post the links to shortly, um, that basically preempted my normal time for Facebook Live. So now we're going live at a little bit later. <laughs> and uh, the topic today is episode 693, by the way, and the topic today is op unpack your own damn bags, it's not their job. And I'll explain that in a moment, because that was one of the topics we talked about on the interview earlier, so it's fresh in my mind. But before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what this is about, in case you've never been watching me before. My name is Barry Selby. Ta-da! Hi, if you haven't seen me before. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. I am a devotee of supporting women in having balance in love, life, and business, and I'm also doing these talks every day because I'm very passionate about the work I do, which is coaching and speaking and teaching about love and relationships. It also is what inspired these talks over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring and Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 693. There's a lot of these under my belt. And the topic again today is unpack your own damn bags. It's not their job. So this was a topic I was talking about on the interview I had earlier, which will be airing, I think, this week or next week, probably next week. But I want to talk about it here because it is relevant for a lot of people. I'm just thinking I want to approach this. I can just dive in and go like full blast on it, but I thought, let me just frame it first. You know those people, because it's not you, but you know those people who basically go from relationship to relationship to relationship without almost any gap in between? You know who they are. What you don't see behind the scenes, and I pretty much guarantee this, is either one of two things happens when they're in that new relationship. I would say three, no, two things, just double checking. In the next relationship, well, back up a second, you're also probably aware of these people have in fact been in relationships fairly frequently. They're in a relationship, they're out of one, in the next one, out of one. Every time you see them, it's a new relationship. What's been happening, I strongly suspect, is that they haven't, this person, not you, but this other person, because I know it's not you, these other people do this, has not resolved their past emotional upset from the broken heart in the last relationship and so they just stuff it down moving to the next relationship and hope everything's going to be fine and then a month two months three months six months into that new relationship that new partner steps on their emotional toe so to speak and triggers all that suppressed emotional upset that was being carried from the past relationship this person then proceeds to blast that person with an emotional upset oops camera just went a bit off i'll get this back so when I, when I move my hands, it just tweak the exposure of the camera. Um, blast that person with their upset and then cause a big rift in the relationship and then ends. This is something I know some people do frequently because they're not willing to listen to feedback or guidance or even to realize that they're destroying every relationship they're in because they're not facing their own demons. They're not facing their own challenges, their own baggage, which is that bags unpacked thing I talked about. If you know this person, you can tell them this from me. If they want to have a healthy relationship, not just a relationship to cover up the wounds, because some people do that, then the best thing they can do is face the wounds and baggage from their past relationship. Or relationships, plural, because oftentimes people carry baggage on from one, two, three, four relationships into the next one without doing the about it, and expecting the new person to deal with it. If they're a smart person, the other, the new partner, they won't deal with it. So you know what? That's your stuff. It's not mine. Now, if you found yourself, yes, I'm going to ask you now this question. If you found yourself in the past going to a relationship where the new partner you're with triggers something from your past, I trust you had the presence of mind. Instead of just going blur all over them emotionally and dumping all stuff on them, try to go, uh, hang a second, I'm realizing I'm being triggered by something that happened in my past. It's not you, it's me. I've got to work on this. And take some time to go see a counselor, coach, therapist or just a journal whatever you need to do to bring to, the, to deal what came to the surface from that interaction with your new partner that relates to your past relationship because that happens but it's the presence of mind to not just dump on your new partner which is one of the keys now better yet is if you don't actually get into a new relationship until you actually unpacked all those bags from the past ones it is tempting sometimes to keep those bo those bags packed because like when you're traveling and going on vacation that, pack, that bag is packed so tight, you know, if you open it, it's going to burst all over the place and it's better to keep it closed so that nothing pops out. Same is true in the emotional baggage from relationships. There's an interesting parallel there. 
When you're traveling to new places, like new relationships, the same bags travel with you. The same upsets that are stuffed in your emotional baggage travel with you. So you can go from one relationship to the next one and presume it's all going to be fine. But if you don't deal with that past baggage, it's all going to burst out on a new partner. I don't recommend that, frankly. It's actually not fair to the other person. And it's not fair to yourself either because you're going to spend the time being in dysfunctional relationships time and time and time again. Now, some people, that's the way they live their lives and they don't know any different. But if you have a sense from this reminder that you might be in the same place again and again and again, it's a good time to look at your own experiences and see, okay, where are the common threads? Where have I had this pattern again and again and again in past relationships? Because when you do take a conscious look and you're willing to look back at your relationships and see through clear eyes with hindsight what you did or didn't do, then you can make a difference in your choices. And then you can actually choose consciously to unpack the bags in a safe place, which is with your own experience, not with somebody else, and face those challenges yourself. Again, whether you seek a counselor, coach, or therapist, or you do the journaling, whatever you want to use, if you take the time to unpack those bags, to start looking at your dirty laundry, so to speak, of emotional upsets and past um, transgressions, and face them and look at them in a way that go, oh, okay, that's my stuff, that's not theirs, let me clear this one up you're well on the way to having a better chance of having a healthy relationship in your future. If you don't do that, you're going to get what you've always gotten. Now, some people, <laughs> some people, though he's mentioned, have chosen to be very, um, I want to say ignorance is the wrong word, um, dismissive, I'll put it that way, of their personal past wounds and history from relationships don't be their new partner because I know how it feels to be on the receiving end of that and I'm sure you may have experienced in the past where you look back and go hang on a second that person got upset with me it wasn't me it was their own stuff in the past relationship this is the challenge of having this stuff we don't always become aware of it until we meet somebody then bang into them with it so when you're single especially, especially when you're single, is don't rush into the next relationship and just go start swiping on an app and date somebody. Take the time just to do some self-reflection, self-investigation, self-review and go, did I really clear up my stuff from the past? Did I really leave that relationship clean or did I carry a bunch of crap with me? Because the thing about this is, this is one of the secrets by the way, or the dark secrets so to speak, is if you don't clear up your baggage from the past, you tend to attract somebody who's going to resonate with your baggage in the future. Meaning that if you carry around baggage from the past because you had um, perpetual arguments with somebody, you tend to start finding your next relationship will start to reciprocate or, or I should say repeat the same pattern again. If it's abuse or addiction or drinking or neglect or any of those things that's in your baggage from your past relationships, because it's in your bag to go into the next relationship, it tends to influence your next choice because it's familiarity, because it's comfortable, because it's what you've trained yourself to believe is what works. Getting yourself out of that loop is the bag unpacking you do on your own. Simple as that. I think I made the point clear enough so you get this. If you want to find out how to do that work with me, I'll put a link in the comments so you can have a session with me and we can talk. Also, part of the work I do, as I mentioned, I was in the talk earlier, by the way, is really getting clear that for most of us, us people in general, is that we are not the most um, integrated, that's what I use, into our beingness because we've had so many wounds in the past. Now, most of this is for women who watch this because most of the men don't own up to this stuff because I know because I've been, I, have, I am one, I've done this over the years myself, but I've worked better now. But most women I know have had past wounds, hurts, upsets, whether it's baggage from past relationships, or just experiences in life that have basically scarred them in their love life and in their relationships going forward. I created a course which I've just launched the web page for, web page for yes, last night, yesterday, that you can actually go check out and read about it called um, Coming Home to Yourself. I'll put a link in the comments and I'm just going to say verbally, if you go to my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash coming home, you can read about it and check it out for yourself. It's a new group course I'm launching next week that's for those people who went to do the inner work to, res to, to really 
connect back into themselves and rebuild their own self-support, self-esteem, and self-confidence in life as well as in love. Um, because it will help you do that. I think that's about it. The baggage is a real interesting piece. It's actually part of the chapter in my book. It's part of my work and it's part of what everybody deals with. But most, a lot of people don't even want to face it. They just want to get the next, next, next. If you're with somebody in a relationship who keeps going next, 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 that means they're going to dump you for somebody else as soon as some upset happens. And I recommend you get out first because you really want to do the work to take care of yourself. I'll give you the links to reach out to connect with me for a discovery session. And I'll put a link in there for the, self, for the uh, Coming Home to Yourself program so you can check them out for yourself. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts about this broadcast, please put them below. Um, this is my daily um, spontaneous talk on Facebook Live that also goes onto YouTube, and I'll give you the links so you can find them. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I usually go live at 5 p.m. Pacific time, which I will tomorrow. Today was a preempted by an a, a online interview I had, which will be airing shortly. I'll put the links for that out soon as well. If you join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time, it's on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go to my business page, which is Barry Selby, author, and also once on my YouTube channel, which I invite you to subscribe to, which is Barry Selby. At almost social media is my name, as well as my website is Barry Selby. And the playlist on there is Messages from the Masculine. If this has been of help to you, um, let me know in the comments as well. If you want to share it with somebody else, feel free to do so. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or other things, you can put them in the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. If you don't deal with your baggage, it's going to get in the way. Simple as that. And if you've been, if you ever walk through a city carrying a suitcase behind you, it can get pretty heavy pretty fast and it can be a real pain. And it's not somebody else's job to carry it for you. It's your job to lighten the load and unpack it. That is your question to consider, your, your thoughts to ponder tonight. I'm not going to give it as homework because that's not fair. <laughs> you didn't invite it. But consider for yourself where maybe you've done it for yourself before. With that, I thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back in tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Take care of yourselves and uh, again, check the links in the comments. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.